Hey guys, Whip here, and we are going to be building this super simple catapult that I am standing on top of right now. It looks great on pretty much any castle wall. So anyways, let's get into that tutorial so you guys can see how it's all working out. All right, guys, here's everything you need to build this catapult. You need spruce logs, spruce slabs and stairs, dark oak slabs and stairs, granite, stone, and a site, trap door, spruce fence, stone button, and an iron bar. Totally out of order. Anyways, we want to start by making a 7x7 square to fit the catapult. We're going to be using stone and andesite here, making it super simple, just alternating. After that, we want to go ahead and create a 6x5 area using two lines of dark oak stair, four logs, and then a dark oak stair on the back, just like that. Here you can also go ahead and add a dark oak stair above that back one as well, just adding a little bit of depth like you see there. Next, we want to go ahead head and both these sides are the exact same. You want to go ahead and place logs exactly like you're seeing there. So three high in the middle, then a horizontal on the back, and then go ahead and place some dark oak stairs on the front there. And here's where things start to get a little bit interesting. Add two beams going down the middle with your log, and then we're going to go ahead and work on the arm now. So after placing some fences on the top, some extra detail, do that upside down stair, two slabs, place trap doors on the top and the bottom of that middle block, then go ahead and place in real quick there, notice how we did a dark oak beam of slabs there on the back, then go ahead and bring those slabs coming all the way down to four, and then place in an upside down spruce stair there, surround that granite with um, trap doors in order to create a little bit of an area to hold whatever stone you're using in. And it looks really, really great. Next, we're moving on to detailing this guy out a little bit more. Go ahead and throw some fences there on the back to help with that slope. Go ahead and bring that lower beam out one more on both sides. Surround that guy with trap doors and go ahead and on the end of that guy, place in your stone button, adding a bunch of little bit of detail in there. And then final last bits of detail on this guy. Go ahead and place some iron bars on the inside of both of these beams like you're seeing us do right there. It just adds a lot of extra detail and kind of helps with rounding the area out and making it look like that thing turns. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much the whole tutorial. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is the first style or first tutorial I've made in this style. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you loved it. And let me know down in the comments below on anything you guys would like to see in the future. I'm having a lot of fun doing stuff like this. This is from our Building with Whip series of the castle we are currently working on. I thought you guys would like this. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next episode.